Hey, hey, what's going on my math party people? Anderson here, your math coach. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna be talking about subtracting and using mental math for subtraction. So if you're watching this video and you're in the math bootcamp course that we have, what you're gonna see is up next, you'll have this exact, well, a different version of this worksheet for you to practice with. And then beyond that, you have speed drills. That way you can continue to really build that confidence, timing yourself so you can feel that pressure. That way you don't feel that pressure on the test. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these, um, you know, three basic things. One, basic subtraction, which you're gonna have to work on. Number two, we're gonna look at mental math strategies that use those to basically understand how to do two digit subtraction nice and easy. And then we'll look at even bigger subtraction once we get to the end here. So it's a short video here. Let's go ahead and dive on in. So here's the thing, I can't stress this enough. You know, knowing how to do things like 11 minus eight, 15 minus six, you know, those kinds of uh, operations, smaller operations, gotta make sure you know how to do those because knowing how to do that will help us with our mental math moving forward. So 11 minus eight, we know that's gonna be three and we should know that. If it takes us a little longer, that's okay, but we gotta make sure we know how to do this super, super, super quick. Now, let me just go ahead and zoom on down to some of these bigger operations because I'm gonna show you how to really utilize mental math to its fullest capacity. So let's take a look at something along the lines of, let's say, yeah, let's say we're looking at 99 minus 84. So here's the thing about party people. I think a lot of us can look at this and say, okay, the answer is going to be 15. But let's think about how to start thinking of mental math. That way we can apply it to some crazier situations. So when you're looking at 99 minus 84, there's one way you can think about it. There's a bunch of ways, but here's one easy way. You can think of it as 99 minus 80 and then minus 4. Because think about it. If you take away 80 and then you take away 4, is that not the same as taking away 84? Yeah. So if you find this difficult, you can split it. You know, split and glue like I've been talking about for the most of these series. Yeah. We can apply split and glue here to go ahead and say, hey, let's take away 80. And this right here then is going to become 19 and then 19 minus four is 15. You could think of it that way. And again, I understand this is probably a really easy problem, but let's, try, let's find a harder one that will allow us to apply this in that same way. So let's go ahead and say we're looking at, let's say we're looking at over here. Let's say we're looking at 86 minus 27. Let's say we're taking a look at that. So look, let's be honest. If you wanna go ahead and lower test anxiety, if you wanna stop blanking out on word problems, and actually understand how to use formulas instead of just memorizing them and not knowing what to do, then you need a program that's gonna support you all the way. So a program that basically lets you text your coach whenever you need them, a program that allows you to go to classes and watch all the recordings, a program that gives you access to thousands of extra practice problems with video solutions, a program that gives you much, much more than that with practice tests, study guides, and more. That's exactly what you're gonna need. Again, I'm Coach Anderson. Reach out to me, shoot me a text, or click the link in the video here. So go ahead and learn about my ASVAB All Access program. It's everything my students use to raise their scores to get the jobs they want. So feel free to check it out so that way you can get in on the action too. I'll see you in there. What we can do here is we can go ahead and change this to 86 minus 20 and then minus 7. That way you can do this in your head. So think of it. 86 minus 20, that's going to give us 66. That's going to give us 66. And then 66 minus 7, again, in your head, well, we should be able to realize that that is 59. But even if you weren't able to, you can think of it, again, with mental math like this. If I'm taking away 7 from 6, we're going to have to go ahead and kind of borrow a 1 if we're thinking about, you know, regular subtraction. What you can do in your head instead is this. You can think of 66 minus 7 as 66 minus 6 and then minus 1. Because think of it, if you're taking away seven, that's the same thing as taking away six and then taking away one. But why did I choose six? The reason I chose six is simply because of this. I chose it because six minus six is zero. So in my head, this would become 60 minus one and 60 minus one is 59. Again, what we're doing here is just thinking about the same numbers in different ways. If we're able to do that, then we give ourselves the opportunity to get things done in our head, which is much faster than writing it down. Much, much faster. 
Now, here's another, another little mental math tip and trick that I can show you as well. Um, let me take a look at right here. You know, let's say we're looking at 50, well, where was it? There was one with a nine that I really wanted to use here. That would be really, really useful for us. And if I can't find it, I'll just go ahead and do it regardless. So let's go ahead and say we're taking a look at something like this. Let's say we've got, let's say we've got ourselves, you know, 87 minus 29. Here's a nice little strategy that we can apply here. Instead of, you know, writing this out, borrowing a one and doing all this mumbo jumbo, instead, just think of it like this. 87 minus 29, think of it as 87 minus 30, but think of it like this. If I take away 30, because 29 is really close to 30, and the reason I chose 30 is because there's that zero right there, it makes it super easy to deal with. Now, if I take away 30 instead of 29, I took away one too many, right? And so if I do that, all I gotta do is, if I estimate it to the 30, compensate by adding one back. Because again, if I take away 30 instead of 29, I took away too much, and so I'll just add one back. And look at how easy this can become. 87 minus 30, 57. What's 57 plus one? 58. 58, nice and standard, nice and easy. And so these are the strategies that we can apply, my party people. Taking a look at 100 minus 22, you don't have to set it up and then keep borrowing ones. That's gonna take way too long. You can go ahead and just simply say, hey, I'll subtract 20 and then subtract two. Nice and easy. So 100 minus 20 is 80. 80 minus two, 78. Again, my party people, we can do this much, much, much faster. Here's another one here. 93 minus 38. Well, if you want to subtract 38, why, you know, why give yourself the headache? You can actually just go ahead and subtract 40 instead of subtracting 38, but that's too, too many. So I got to add two back. I estimated the 40 and I got to compensate. I got to make up for it by adding two back. Because if you take away 40, then add two, it's only taking away 38, which is exactly what we have. So the, way, the reason that this makes it super easy is because again, you're dealing with a zero there. So 93 minus 40, that's gonna end up being 53. Then 53 plus two in my head is 55. Again, I really hope you're starting to see the usefulness of this strategy. You can do this in your head without having to give it a second thought. So let's take a look at another one here. 92 minus 57. You can go ahead and do split and glue, subtract 50, then subtract seven, or you can estimate and compensate, which is a really good strategy for subtraction. You can take away 60, but then you can add three back. Because again, taking away 57 is the same as taking away 60, but then putting three back. And there it is. So 92 minus 60, that's gonna be 32. And that's 32 plus three. And again, in your head, that'll give you 35 and you're all good. My party people here, the idea here is to be more efficient. We know how to do these problems regularly, but now let's take it to the next level and really gear things up. So let's take a look at some other problems here. Let's take a look at something harder here, 102. Number 102. So we have 289 minus 148. Look, if you're frustrated about raising your score right now, if you feel like you're studying, but you're not exactly remembering what you're supposed to, or suffer from test anxiety and blank on word problems a lot, then go ahead and text me directly. Here's my number, 567-698-8867. I'm Coach Anderson. I have a full program that's gonna help you succeed. So go ahead and shoot me a text and say, hey coach, I wanna learn more about the program. And I'll go ahead and explain how all of it works. That way you can stress less about this test and list with the job you want and possibly get that bonus check too. And so, with that said, go ahead, shoot me a text. Let's learn more about it, and let's get you in the right position to succeed. Let's keep going. Here, this is a straight up split and glue. You can go ahead and split it up here. 148 is the same thing as 140 and eight. So really what you're doing in your head is you're saying, hey, 289 minus 100 minus 40 minus eight. And you can get that done in your head, because you can say minus 100, 189 minus 40, 159. Take away eight, 151. Or 141, excuse me there. That was an eight, not a nine. So again, yeah, take away the 100 to get 189. Take away 40, 149, 
take away eight, 141. Nice and easy, nice and easy. And again, the more you practice, the less mistakes you'll make, but it's not gonna be perfect every single time, but the point is to practice and make that progress. So let's take a look at another one here. Let's say we're looking at something a little more difficult here. Let's say we're looking at number 110 here. This is an interesting one. We have 714 minus 127. What we can do here, my party people, is this. We can go ahead and again, split and glue or estimate and compensate whichever way you want. So here's a nice way to think of it. I'm gonna go ahead here and say, hey, let me just take away 100 first. So that's gonna be 614 minus 27. Okay, now from here, here's what we can do. What we can do to give ourselves an easier time with this one is notice how far away 14 is away from 27. I don't wanna sit here and write this down and borrow, you know, and borrow all of these numbers. It's gonna take way too long. I do not want to do that. What we can do instead is this. I can treat this as 614 minus 14 minus 13. I can treat it like that, my party people. Why does that work? Well, it works because think of it like this. 27 and you have the 14 there. I could take away 14 and I'd still have 13 left to take away. So if I take both of them away one at a time, it makes it much easier because in my head, I'm gonna have this being 600. And then if I take away 13, that's the same thing as taking away 10 and three. So that'll become 590. 587 right there so again it seems like a lot but the more you practice this the better off you'll be I promise I promise so let's keep looking forward to really understanding this the right way and practicing the right way for real we got this we absolutely have this so uh, we can try one more example here let's take a look at here's a good one this is one where you don't have to think too hard about this one because I can start off by just taking away 100 then taking away the 33. So if I take a look here, 532 minus 100, that'll end up being 432 in my head. And if I'm taking away 33, well, that's the same thing as taking away 32 and taking away one. If I take away 32, that's 400. Take away one, that's 399, right there. Again, in your head, this can be a lot, lot faster. I really wanna implore you to practice your mental math, especially with subtraction, that way we don't look at problems on the test and think that we can't do it or we don't have enough time. We always do have enough time. It just depends on how you think about it. And so with that said, my party people, again, if you're watching this in our course, make sure to move on to the next section here, the next activity where you'll get the worksheet. Then from there, you get your speed drill set. That way you can keep practicing and practicing and practicing and build that confidence all the way through. I'll see you in the next video, my party people. Let's get to work.